Before proceeding, please make sure to subscribe and turn on the bell icon for upcoming videos. Today's video is about trigeminal neuralgia. Neuralgia can be defined as pain along the distribution of a nerve. Therefore, trigeminal neuralgia is the pain along the distribution of the trigeminal nerve. It's the most common and the most serious of the facial neuralgia, characterized by an extremely severe unilateral electric and shock-like pain, which is limited to one or more branches of the trigeminal nerve. The pain is so severe and intolerable that it has one of the highest suicidal rates. Trigeminal neuralgia can be classified as classical or primary and secondary or symptomatic. The classical or primary trigeminal neuralgia has no definite etiology. Although it's often thought to be related with compression of the trigeminal nerve by aging blood vessels, which makes the nerve susceptible to localized demyelination. The secondary or symptomatic trigeminal neuralgia can develop in patients with multiple sclerosis or may occur secondary to compression of the nerve by tumors or arteriovenous malformations. In the majority of cases, the pain is located in the maxillary and mandibular divisions of the trigeminal nerve. With the maxillary branch most often affected than the mandibular branch. The ophthalmic division of the trigeminal nerve is least affected. Trigeminal neuralgia affects individuals older than 50 years of age with women being affected most often than men. The patient experienced mild pain in early stages, which later on is followed by intense pain, often described as shock-like pain. Patients often clutch at the face and experience spasmodic contractions of the facial musculature during attacks. The term used for this feature is tic dolorix, which means painful jerking. The pain in trigeminal neuralgia is episodic and this is due to some non-trigger points for provocation of pain. Some non-trigger points are the central portion of the face, areas around the nose and the mouth, nasolabial folds and some intraoral areas like tongue. These trigger zones are stimulated by washing face, shaving, eating, teeth brushing and exposure to a breeze. Each painful stimulation lasts no longer than 2 minutes, followed by a refractory period where the stimulus can no longer provoke pain at the trigger zone. This refractory period is clinically useful in distinguishing trigeminal neuralgia from stimulus-provoked odontogenic pain. The initial treatment of trigeminal neuralgia is done through anticonvulsant medications. The first anticonvulsant drug of choice for trigeminal neuralgia is carbamazepine. Other anticonvulsant medications like phenytoin, gabapentin, and lamotrigine can also be used. These drugs can be used either alone or in combination with a skeletal muscle relaxant. If medical management fails, a variety of surgical treatments can be considered. like microvascular decompression surgery. This surgery relieves abnormal compression of a cranial nerve by placing a Teflon pad in between the nerve and the artery. It's an invasive but non-destructive technique that is used to treat most cases of classical trigeminal neuralgia. Some less invasive surgical techniques are also applied, which aims at destroying affected portions of the trigeminal nerve. These procedures include glycerol rhizotomy, which is the injection of alcohol near nerves leaving or entering the trigeminal ganglion. Percutaneous radiofrequency rhizotomy is the selective destruction of the sensory fibers of the nerve by crushing or by the application of heat. And neurectomy, where the sensory roots are severed or blocked to relieve pain. Unfortunately, none of these treatments can produce impressive and permanent results. If you think this video was helpful, please like, subscribe, share and comment if you have any questions. Thank you for watching.